Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we're going to be talking about a variety of things related to the next update that drops on consoles, as well as the next update to the public test server. We're going to be going over a lot of different information, as well as the now potentially confirmed release date for the console update as well. So if that's anything that you're interested in, make sure you stick around for the rest of the video. Now, all of the info that we're going to be talking about in this video comes from a Saber staff member in the official SnowRunner Discord called Asorikin, and one of the first things I want to talk about is that he said, good thing the update is finally approved and will be released on Monday morning, and what he is talking about there is the official Update 7 uh, console drop and release date, meaning that it will release on the morning of Monday, September 7th. So what does that mean for you console players? Well, it means you'll be getting the Amandra map and absolutely everything that comes with it. The update is locked in. The content is locked in. It means you'll have the bigger engine for the F750. It means you'll have the new TUZ truck as well. And there's a lot more to discover on that map. And I think you guys will really, really enjoy it when you finally get your hands on it. And that goes for both the Xbox guys as well as the PlayStation guys. So... Big thing, if you are a Xbox or PlayStation guy and haven't really seen many of my playthrough videos or tips and tricks videos about the Amandra map, you can actually go over to my channel and check out my five things you need to know before the update drops video. There's a lot of good information over there that will help you uh, get yourself in a better position for jumping into that new map once it drops on consoles. Now, switching gears a little bit, we are going to change the topic over to the next update coming to the PTS. Now, Asorikin actually had some conversations with some people in the SnowRunner Discord about this. However, out of respect for them, I have blanked out their names and their profile pictures and the like. So, someone said, since Update 7 is failing to reach live servers, can we start testing 9.0 already? No certification required on PTS. Winky face. It'd be cool to drive the new cat. Asorikin responds, you'll need to wait a bit. We need to spend some time to prepare it for the PTS launch. Meaning that they're already working on the next update that's going into the PTS for testing, which is a huge deal, huge, huge, huge deal, and there's, I'm sure, a ton of content that will come along with that for us to check out. Now, as the conversation went on, the next thing that was said was, do you have some rough estimate? A week? A month? Also, can you tell what new content 9.0 will contain? Canada, Apache, Cat 770G. Also, will Phase 2 be split into two parts like Phase 1? Rough estimate, the Sorokin says, is several weeks. And he said, also, it will have the Yukon region and two cats for sure. And that is going to be the next drop on the public test server. Now, stick around if this is really interesting to you because we're about to get to the part of the video that really has me very, very excited and very, very hyped. Next up, Asorkin said TH357 will have forklift. Now, if you look this vehicle up on Cat's website, you actually see that they have pictures of it with a bucket as well as a forklift. And it's a really interesting vehicle, actually. I mean, telehandlers are vehicles that I don't really have much experience with personally, but it'll be really, really cool and really, really interesting to see them come to the game in this update. And anything really that has to do with forklifts is going to be very cool because it means we will have cargo that will correspond with a forklift and it will add all sorts of new loading dynamics to the gameplay. And speaking of that, Asorakan also proceeded to drop even more info, saying, don't want to spoil anything, but there will be new types of cargo that are suitable for the forklift, meaning that in the next round of the PTS server, we will legitimately have cargo types that we've never seen before, and that is huge. I mean, we've already got so many different types of cargo in the base game already, and I don't think that by referring to new cargo types, I don't think he's referring to lumber specifically. I think he's referring to uh, different cargo types potentially on pallets. I'm not sure what those are. He hasn't really said anything else in regards to that or what those new cargo types could potentially be. But just saying that there are new cargo types coming has me insanely hyped. And it also has me trying to like, you know, think around in my head like, okay, what could these cargo types potentially be based on what we already have? And last but certainly not least, the last bit of info he dropped was saying that there are new zone types called storage and crafting. For the rest of the info, you'll have to wait for an official update. Now, storage and crafting? You could go one of two ways with that. It could either be just a way to describe a certain building or a certain parking lot in the game, 
or it could actually be a functioning storage facility or a functioning uh, crafting space. Now, when they say crafting, do I think they're, you know, going full Minecraft with it? I, I highly doubt that. But what I'm seeing in my head and would be really cool if they actually went this route was think about crafting, right? Think about bringing all sorts of different materials to a crafting facility to then craft a different material that you then had to haul to a destination. Now, if you think about that, it seems like, oh, I don't know if they'd do that, but then you start thinking about it more and you're like, you know, that probably wouldn't be all that hard to do for one and for two, I could actually see them doing that. I actually feel like that would be something that would be right up the alley of things that they've done before and gameplay dynamics that they've included in the game before. Now, since we've made it to this point in the video, let me know in the comments down below what you are most excited about, both with the Update 7 dropping on consoles on Monday morning, as well as what you are most excited about coming to the public test server if you are a PC player slash public test server user. Uh, I would really love to hear from both audiences and both player bases as far as what you are most excited about. I mean, I know for me, I'm very excited about the Yukon region, but I think more than anything, I'm excited about that cat forklift and the other cat that they haven't really said all that much about, but... At the end of the day, I am extremely, extremely pumped, and I think everybody should be, really, because we're getting a lot of new info dropping, and also, just to kind of, you know, kind of back up what the developers said on the Discord earlier as well, I, I see a lot of people blaming the developers for the update not being out yet on consoles, and I think a lot of you guys should probably kind of, you know, give the developers a little bit of a break, because Sony and Microsoft both have their own individual review processes for updates, and if an update gets, at least as far as my understanding goes, if an update gets sent back, they basically have to then go back through the update again completely before they resubmit it for approval. Now, I don't know if that's exactly the case, but I believe that it's somewhat similar to uh, some kind of process like that. And, you know, at the end of the day, I got to give these developers credit because, like, if I was them, I would be super frustrated if the update that I wanted to push out, you know, to my player base got sent back and they said, nope, review it again, I would be really upset. I would be really annoyed and I would, I would feel kind of, you know, I would feel bad because then I would have to go and tell my player base, you know, I'm sorry guys, you're going to have to wait longer. And then unfortunately, some people in the player base then proceed to blame the developers. And that sucks, you know what I mean? Like, that's not something any developer wants to hear and I honestly am really glad that the developers have kept such a cool head through this process of getting update 7 to consoles. It seems like it hasn't been an easy road for them and I respect the crap out of them because they just keep pushing on, they keep pushing forward and they really want to bring this update out to us, their loyal player base and I for one, like I said, cannot wait to see what you console guys think of the Amandra map when you personally get your hands on it and what you think of the F750 with the new engine. I know that's what a lot of the console players are most excited about, about the update. There are some console players that have told me they're more excited about the F750's new engine coming than they are about the new map, Imandra, coming, which is huge. Like, normally I wouldn't expect people to be more excited about an engine option than a map, but I, I think that that just goes to show how many people enjoy the F750 but wish that it had a more capable engine. And I think that a lot of people, myself included, before that engine came out on PC, I still pushed through with the standard F750 with the really, really low-powered engine because I enjoyed using the truck that much. And to me, it made it worth it to use it. You know what I mean? Like, the enjoyment factor made it worth it to me to use it. And honestly, the low power added a little bit of challenge, but the big engine made it a lot, 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 lot more fun. And before the video ends, I also want to circle back on console mods real quick and just kind of clarify that we haven't heard anything more as of right now. We're still crossing our fingers and hoping for the best for Phase 3. That seems to be based on research and based on going back and reviewing all of the older trailers and comparing it to the current info. Uh, phase 3 seems to be the most logical time, the most logical place for them to start talking about it. Who knows? They may start talking about it sooner. I hope they drop some tidbits of info here and there, uh, but we haven't heard anything more on it as of yet. 
I really, really hope we do soon, but again, we're just going to have to be patient. We're going to have to remain patient and wait and see. However, if, you know, the approval process for Update 7 was an indicator of how long it may take for the approval process of console mods, it may take a little while, and that's not to be pessimistic about console mods. That's just to put out there that it may take a little bit longer in terms of review processes with Sony and Microsoft, and not just solely on the developers, you know what I mean? But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave me a like, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.